We're in Backup Exec 2012. I'm going to show you how to backup and simultaneously create and convert to a virtual machine. So inside Backup Exec 2012, click on the Backup and Restore button, click Backup, and choose this Backup to Disk and simultaneously create convert to a virtual machine. From here, we will see the name of the server, and we can go in and test our credentials or change to an alternate credential if we'd like. And you can click Test All, make sure everything's working properly. You can also go in and edit and say, instead of doing everything, we, can, we just want to do just the C drive itself. Of course, I recommend doing all of it, so make sure you have a full backup. On the backup side, we have two options, the full and incremental. The incremental is not needed because we want to do a full backup in this case. So we'll just go ahead and click Edit, and then we'll click the X on that job and click OK. So now we have our server, we have our backup, and now we, and we have uh, the storage is going to be any disk storage, although if you have multiple storage, you may want to go in and change that in the edit. Now we're going to convert to virtual, and this will happen along uh, with the backup job itself at the same time. So we have some options here. We can click on Edit, and by default, it chooses VMware, but we can go in and change it to Hyper-V if we want. It gives you a little different options here. You can go ahead and choose the Hyper-V server name, and you can pick that from your list of domain servers. You can also change the destination drive and path to where the file is going to go. You can choose a logon account separate from the default system logon account if the domain you're trying to send this to is not in the same one. The virtual machine name, here is a default name it comes up with. You can go in and change that to whatever you want. You can overwrite an older VM backup if, it's, if there's one already there, so you have the latest one. And then here's the full path of Hyper-V integration components to the ISO image. So you've got to have the files available for the ISO. If we change to VMware, see a little bit of different setup. Again, we have the logon account, data center, data store, cluster, host or cluster, virtual machine folder, and resource pools. So you can pick which what information you have based on that information uh, of the type of VMware virtual machine that you're trying to back up. And over here we have the VM uh, machine name again and you can again change that to whatever you want. You can overwrite previous backups. One additional thing is the disk configuration. You can go in and edit and you can choose uh, different types of controllers, different types of Disk, disks and then the virtual disk name and then the virtual disk location. Now if we go in and change that to Hyper-V we're going to see some different options here. So we've got the system configuration etc but then we've got the disk configuration. We can edit that and you can create a dynamically expanding disk or a fixed size. It's up to you. And then you can choose the virtual disk location where that physically is right now and then when you're done you just go ahead and click OK.